Kiora, everyone. Welcome to Tapas and Lemonade and to our cultural journey as we set foot in Aotearoa, the land of the long white cloud, also known as New Zealand. Today, we embark on an exploration of this enchanting land that captivates the soul with its unparalleled beauty, renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, and the rich and vibrant cultural tapestry woven by the Maori people. Join us as we unravel the unique stories, traditions, and spirit that define the Maori way of life. If you are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button to get notified of new video explorations. Aotearoa, the land and its people refers to New Zealand and its indigenous population, the Maori. The term Aotearoa comes from the Maori language and is commonly translated as the land of the long white cloud. This phrase encapsulates the geographical and cultural essence of New Zealand, highlighting its stunning landscapes and the profound connection the Maori people have with the land. Here are key aspects of Aotearoa, focusing on both the physical characteristics of the land and the cultural identity of its people. Geographic Diversity Aotearoa boasts diverse and breathtaking landscapes, ranging from snow-capped mountains to lush forests and pristine beaches. The Southern Alps, stretching across the South Island, contribute to the country's dramatic topography, while the North Island features geothermal wonders and fertile plains. Spiritual Connection to the Land The Maori people have a deep and spiritual connection to the land. According to Maori cosmology, the Earth Mother, Papatuanuku, and the Sky Father, Ranginui, were once tightly embraced but were separated by their children, giving rise to the world as it is today. This separation created the landscape, and various natural features are considered sacred. Whakapapa Genealogy Whakapapa is the Maori concept of genealogy, emphasizing the interconnectedness of all living things. The land itself is often considered an ancestor, and Maori trace their genealogy back to specific places within Aotearoa. Mountains, rivers, and other geographical features hold significance in Whakapapa, linking individuals to their ancestral roots. Kaitiakatanga, Guardianship Kaitiakatanga is the Maori practice of environmental guardianship. It reflects the responsibility of the Maori people to protect and sustain the natural resources of Aotearoa for future generations. This concept emphasizes the reciprocal relationship between humans and the environment. Tangata Fenua, People of the Land The Maori refer to themselves as Tangata Fenua, meaning, people of the land. This term signifies their identity as the indigenous people of Aotearoa, with deep ties to the land, traditions, and cultural practices. Mare and Furanui Mare, or communal meeting grounds, are central to Maori communities and serve as spaces for gatherings, ceremonies, and cultural events. The Faranui, or meeting house, within the marae is intricately carved and adorned with symbols that represent the tribe's history and identity. Te Rio Maori Te Rio Maori, the Maori language, is a living embodiment of the cultural identity of the Maori people. It is used to express cultural concepts, tell stories, and maintain a connection to ancestral traditions. Cultural Practices and Traditions The Maori people engage in a rich tapestry of cultural practices, including haka, war dance, waiata, song, carving, and traditional ceremonies. These practices are expressions of cultural identity, storytelling, and a connection to the spiritual dimension of Aotearoa. Te Ao Maori, the Maori worldview, is a holistic and interconnected understanding of the universe, encompassing spiritual, cultural, social, and environmental dimensions. Rooted in the traditions, cosmology, and cultural values of the Maori people of New Zealand, Te Ao Maori shapes their perspectives on existence, relationships, and the interconnectedness of all things. Here are key elements that characterize Te Ao Maori. Te Ao Maori emphasizes the interconnectedness of all things, recognizing the relationships between humans, the environment, and the spiritual realm. This interconnectedness extends beyond the physical to include spiritual, cultural, and familial dimensions. Mana refers to spiritual power, authority, and prestige. 
It is inherent in individuals, communities, and natural elements. Mana is earned and maintained through acts of integrity, wisdom, and respect, contributing to the balance of power within the community and the broader world. Tapu signifies the sacred or restricted nature of certain objects, places, or practices. Noah, on the other hand, represents the ordinary or everyday aspects of life. The concepts of Tapu and Noah guide behavior, ensuring respect and mindfulness in interactions with the sacred and the mundane. Taitiakatenga is the concept of environmental stewardship and guardianship. It reflects the responsibility of individuals and communities to care for and protect the land, water, and natural resources. Taitiakatenga embodies the idea of sustainable practices for the well-being of current and future generations. Tenga emphasizes the importance of relationships and connections within the community. It extends beyond biological ties to include relationships formed through shared experiences, collaborations, and mutual support. Strong community bonds are integral to the well-being and resilience of individuals. Rituals and ceremonies play a significant role in expressing and reinforcing Te Ao Maori. These may include pohiri, welcoming ceremonies, hui, gatherings, and tangihanga, funeral ceremonies. Rituals connect individuals to their cultural identity and the spiritual dimensions of life. The Faranui, or meeting house, within a marae, communal meeting ground, is a physical representation of Te Ao Maori. It is intricately carved and adorned with symbols that represent the tribe's history, identity, and connections to the land. Te Ao Maori provides a comprehensive framework for understanding the Maori worldview, emphasizing the relationships between people, the environment, and the spiritual realm. It is a dynamic and living philosophy that guides the Maori in their interactions with each other and the world around them. Kapa Haka is a traditional Maori performing art that encompasses a rich array of expressive elements, including song, dance, chants, and symbolic gestures. Rooted in Maori culture and heritage, Kapa Haka serves as a powerful medium for conveying the stories, history, and identity of the Maori people. Let's explore the components and significance of Kapa Haka. Haka. The Haka is perhaps the most well-known element of Kapa Haka. It is a powerful, rhythmic dance accompanied by chanting or shouting, performed with strong, synchronized movements and facial expressions. Haka serves various purposes, including expressing a tribe's identity, commemorating significant events, and challenging opponents. It can convey a range of emotions, from ferocity and strength to joy and celebration. There are different types of haka, each with its own purpose. The Kamate Haka, composed by Te Raparaha, is widely known and performed on various occasions, including sporting events. Wayata, Song Wayata refers to songs that are an integral part of Kapa Haka. These songs are often accompanied by traditional instruments, such as the guitar or ukulele. Wayata convey stories, emotions, and cultural messages. They celebrate ancestral heroes, express love and grief, and reflect the Maori worldview. Wayata can be slow and melodic or lively and rhythmic, depending on the context. Hoi. Hoi are small, tethered weights attached to cords. Hoi spinning is a dance form where performers swing and manipulate the poi in intricate patterns. Poi dances are often used to represent daily activities, such as weaving or fishing. The movements showcase the skill and dexterity of the performer, and the rhythmic patterns are coordinated with the music and chanting. Tidatoria, Stick Games Tidatoria involves the use of sticks in rhythmic patterns and games. The sticks are clapped together, creating percussive sounds. Tidatoria is both a form of entertainment and a cultural practice. It showcases coordination, agility, and timing while often telling a story through the movements and interactions with the sticks. Costume and Adornments Kappa Haka performers wear traditional Maori costumes, including payupiu, flax skirts, korowai, cloaks, and hei tiki, carved neck pendants. Facial tattoos, moko, and body paint are often used as cultural adornments, adding to the visual impact of the performance. 
cultural significance. Kappa Haka is deeply rooted in Maori culture, serving as a means of cultural expression, storytelling, and the transmission of knowledge from one generation to the next. It fosters a sense of identity, pride, and unity within Maori communities and plays a crucial role in maintaining and revitalizing Maori language and traditions. Competitive and non-competitive performances. Kappa Haka is showcased in both competitive and non-competitive settings. Competitions, such as the Te Matatini National Kappa Haka Festival, bring together groups from across New Zealand to showcase their skills and creativity. The contemporary Maori Renaissance refers to a cultural, social, and artistic revival among the Maori people of New Zealand, particularly since the latter half of the 20th century. This movement is characterized by a renewed interest and pride in Maori language, traditions, arts, and cultural identity. The contemporary Maori Renaissance is a dynamic and ongoing process that has contributed to the revitalization and celebration of Maori culture in various domains. Here are key aspects of the contemporary Maori Renaissance. Cultural Revival The mid-20th century witnessed a decline in Maori language proficiency and cultural practices due to factors such as colonization, urbanization, and the dominance of English in education. The contemporary Maori Renaissance emerged as a response to these challenges, seeking to reclaim, revive, and celebrate Maori culture. Te Rio Maori Revitalization a significant aspect of the Renaissance is the revitalization of Te Rio Māori, the Māori language. Efforts have been made to promote the use of Te Rio in daily life, education, media, and official contexts. Immersion schools, Karaka Papa Māori, have played a crucial role in fostering language acquisition from an early age. Arts and Cultural Expression The Renaissance has seen a flourishing of Māori arts and cultural expression. Traditional art forms such as carving, weaving, and tamoko, tattooing, have experienced a resurgence. Contemporary Maori artists also explore new mediums, blending traditional and modern influences. Media representation. Maori representation in media has increased, with the establishment of Maori television channels, radio stations, and online platforms. Maori stories, language, and perspectives are more visible, contributing to a broader understanding of Maori culture. Recognition of Indigenous Rights The global recognition of Indigenous rights has influenced the Maori Renaissance. Efforts to address historical injustices, land claims, and the acknowledgement of the Treaty of Waitangi, a founding document of New Zealand, have been central to the revitalization of Maori identity and autonomy. Political Representation Increased political representation of Maori in government and the recognition of Maori seats in parliament have provided a platform for advocating Maori interests and contributing to policy decisions that impact Maori communities. Health and well-being The Renaissance extends to health and well-being initiatives that address disparities in Maori health outcomes. Culturally grounded approaches to healthcare, incorporating traditional healing practices, contribute to holistic well-being. The contemporary Maori Renaissance is a multifaceted and ongoing movement that reflects the resilience, pride, and determination of the Maori people to reclaim and celebrate their cultural heritage in a modern context. It stands as a testament to the strength of indigenous cultures in navigating the complexities of the contemporary world while maintaining a deep connection to ancestral traditions. Wonderful Places to See in New Zealand New Zealand is a country renowned for its breathtaking landscapes, diverse ecosystems, and rich cultural heritage. Here are some wonderful places to see in New Zealand. North Island Bay of Islands Situated in the Northland region, the Bay of Islands is known for its turquoise waters, secluded beaches, and over 140 subtropical islands. It's a paradise for sailing, dolphin watching, and exploring historic sites. Tongariro National Park Home to the famous Tongariro Alpine Crossing, this national park on the North Island features volcanic landscapes, alpine meadows, and emerald lakes. The Tongariro Crossing is one of the most popular day hikes in the world. Rotorua
Known for its geothermal activity, Rotorua on the North Island features bubbling mud pools, geysers, and hot springs. Additionally, it offers a glimpse into Maori culture with traditional performances and cultural experiences. Waitomo Glowworm Caves Located in the Waikato region, the Waitomo Glowworm Caves are known for their unique luminescent inhabitants. Take a boat ride through the caves to witness the magical glowworm display on the cave ceilings. Coromandel Peninsula This scenic peninsula on the North Island is famous for its beautiful beaches, hot water beaches, where you can dig your own thermal spa, and the iconic Cathedral Cove. Wellington New Zealand's capital city, Wellington, offers a vibrant arts and culture scene, with museums, galleries, and theaters. The city is surrounded by hills and a rugged coastline, providing stunning views. South Island Fjordland National Park Located in the southwest of the South Island, Fjordland National Park is known for its stunning fjords, including Milford Sound and Doubtful Sound. The sheer cliffs, waterfalls, and pristine wilderness make it a must-visit for nature enthusiasts. Abel Tasman National Park on the northern tip of the South Island, Abel Tasman National Park boasts golden beaches, clear waters, and lush coastal forests. Visitors can explore the park by hiking, kayaking, or taking a scenic boat cruise. Queenstown Often referred to as the adventure capital of the world, Queenstown is surrounded by the Southern Alps and sits on the shores of Lake Wakatipu. It offers a wide range of outdoor activities, from bungee jumping and skiing to scenic hikes. Airaki Mount Cook National Park Home to the tallest peak in New Zealand, Airaki Mount Cook National Park is a haven for mountain enthusiasts. The alpine scenery, glaciers, and starry night skies make it a captivating destination. Fox and Franz Joseph Glaciers Located on the west coast of the South Island, these glaciers descend from the Southern Alps to temperate rainforests. Helicopter tours and guided hikes allow visitors to experience the glaciers up close. Kaikoura Nestled between the mountains and the Pacific Ocean, Kaikoura is renowned for its marine life. Visitors can go whale watching, swim with dolphins, and indulge in fresh seafood. Between the North and South Islands Hobbiton Please note that Hobbiton, while not a natural landscape, is a must-visit destination for those enchanted by the world of Middle-earth. It is located near the town of Mata Mata. It is a movie set created for the filming of both the Lord of the Rings trilogy and the Hobbit trilogy, directed by Sir Peter Jackson and based on the novels by J. R. R. Tolkien. Visitors to Hobbiton can take guided tours that lead them through the lush green landscape, showcasing the charming Hobbit holes, the iconic party tree, and other locations featured in the films. These are just a few highlights, and New Zealand has much more to offer, from charming small towns to remote wilderness areas. The country's diverse landscapes provide a wealth of opportunities for outdoor adventure and cultural exploration. In conclusion, the treasures of New Zealand encapsulate a rich collection of natural wonders, cultural heritage, and vibrant traditions. Thank you for joining us in this journey. We hope this exploration has sparked your curiosity and deepened your appreciation to the cultural tapestry of the Maori people. Stay well, and until we meet again, farewell from the heart of Aotearoa.